Welcome to Deep Waters and welcome to the Hillary's Boat Harbour. It's a perfect day for squidding today. It's about mid morning on a Sunday. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to have a squid. I'm just going to get my rod and gear set up and we'll get squidding very, very shortly. Stay tuned. So, first of all, let me show you the setup. The reel I'm going to be running today, it's a Daiwa Laguna LT6000A. Beautiful, nice light reel. I've got some really nice blue braid outfit over here. And all the way down the end, I've got my leader, which is around 60 centimeters long. It's a little bit heavy, this leader. I couldn't find any lighter ones, but it'll do. I'm now going to pop a swivel clip on the end here, and then pop the squidgy gun. So I've got my swivel clip that I've just attached on here with a little uni knot. Main reason I use a swivel clip is that it allows me to just change out my squid jigs nice and quickly. I'm just going to find the squid jig that I wanted to use. Oh, here it is. Oh, this is a beautiful Yamashita. Just bought it today, actually. 3.5 over there. Let's pop this off. The reason I want to start off with this jig today is that I find that white is a really successful color. This one in particular. Uh, is really nice and shiny. I don't know if you can see it that well on the camera, but it's got this sort of green Sort of tinge in it as well that beautiful green eye there White just does really well in clear waters as well and The other reason that I've chose this white is that it's really nice and reflective and today It's a little bit overcast, but also a little bit sunny as well So I'm hoping that the Sun's gonna really catch this jig and stand out to the squid out uh, down there um, Just like, there we go. Adding some tension to that and there we go. We're all good to go with that one. Let's have a cast and see what happens. I don't think it's quite so visible in the camera. It might actually be. Just see that there's a brown in between the blues, browns in between the blues, all the way down here. Spanning from right to left and straight out. A lot of weed beds. For anyone who hasn't really had a crack at squid before, they don't really hit like other like sort of fish do. They don't really grab the lure and swim with it. Um, it kind of just feels like you run into something a little bit, a little bit heavy, and then it kind of jiggles around a little bit. So you don't need to have your drag too tight. Just have it nice. And easy. You just want to. Move along the bottom, move along the top, with a couple pauses. Once the squid sees it, they'll run straight into it. Look at that, ladies and gents. The squid are around. They're really just chilling out on these weed beds here. It's really nice. We don't ever sort of jig back too hard because uh, sometimes the squid are about as to have a crack at your jig and if you jig it back too hard you're gonna rip off their tentacle you're gonna rip it off and you're just not gonna catch them so you just kind of want to really be light and gentle with them oh there's a couple tips a couple taps there had a good couple taps on that glowing white yamashita i'm going to switch up to this pink and yellow see if this is a little bit more successful i think maybe there's a couple more smaller squid hanging around at this time I usually pick up the bigger ones in the afternoon. I think we have a squid on. I thought I'd call a jellyfish, but she's a squid. And she swallowed this jiggy. Oh yeah. Hillary squid. Absolute beauty. Just hide some personal security guards. I don't know if you can see them around that bucket of squid. A little fella there, and a little fella around there. Odd mate, live in there. Whoa! Ah, uh, out in a bit of deeper waters. Let's see if we can crack a squid or something. Squid snap or something like that. Oh no! Just lost him. Just lost him. So I'm still here. Back's a bit sore. So I've set up a squid jig float rig. I've got a 
swivel up to my braid here. Put a bobber, another swivel, then mono, all the way down to a bead, and then the trusty Yamashita. All I do is I cast it out, just let it float across the current, and hopefully a squid will find it. Got a popular method for squid fishing as well. A lot of the guys use a those you aren't familiar with, the type of the middle prong and put a fish down the prong also let it float across and drift squid love that as well uh, it's about three o'clock at the moment and uh, sunsets around oh, up five around six ish so we're getting into the prime hours now it's done the trick the float jig left it for a couple minutes bingo Want a squid? Bit of squid. Beauty. Thanks for tuning in today. It's good fun. Got the two. Um, very hard to get them middle of the day, but we managed to do that anyway. Uh, next time we'll hopefully bag out a bit more, get a get a good hand handful, and then we'll we'll throw them out, throw them out alive. Stay tuned for next time, and uh, we'll do it again. Thanks for watching. Deep waters. Like, subscribe, uh, comment, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Deep waters.